Well, hello there, YouTubers. Welcome back once again to JJ's PC Build. You know who it is, JJ, right here. I'm going to be doing a little bit of testing on this uh, driver software, the AMD Adrenaline, the 23 1.1. I haven't given any specifics because I know y'all can go to AMD's website, look it up, and see all the specs and everything else. There's no sense of me getting into that because the specs really don't apply to uh, integrated graphics the the APU that's on the Ryzen 5 5600G so there's no sense of me going into it and yes I am still working I am still working on getting a graphics card it's just I postponed it right now because I'm waiting for you know a couple things to come in so but do be patient we will be doing pc builds do be patient right now i'm just taking making some videos on some upcoming stuff that's coming out from amd nvidia you know like asus msi and whatever so be patient the builds will be coming soon I will be working on them. I told you 2023 is going to be a spectacular year, I hope. But it looks like that they decided to, with PC parts, they want to take and jack them up prices to the moon. But I was waiting for that to settle down and everything to go stable again. So be patient. It is coming. I'm working on it but for now I'm just showing you guys that it is possible for you to run the new drivers that come out even though they say they're from um, they're they're for the RX 7000 series they will still work on your integrated graphics like your Ryzen 5 5600G, your Ryzen 7 5700G, they should work fine. Now I can't say nothing about the AM5 series is because the APUs on there I have not tested, but I can tell you what's going on with these couple. And you know, I know a lot of people, you know, steer away from the APUs. But, you know, this is basically, this video is basically for the consumer that can't afford a, a discrete graphics card, especially at these prices. It's just for them. Okay, if you can afford a graphics card, that's fine. That is 100% Fanola. But this is just to show that the consumer that you can game to on these on these APUs as well as you can um, a discrete graphics card so let's go ahead and just flip it on over to the next screen which is right here and believe it or not and yes I'm gonna tell you all this I am working on I, I am video record streaming on the Ryzen 5 5600G, the Prove It, right here, right here where it says CPU, right here, where it says GPU, you see right there, look right here, and even my storage is up there, so, you know, and you can see the RAM, you can see the, the processor right here, you can see the i you can see the apu which is right here and it shows everything you need to know okay this will prove this right here will prove that this is my system this this right here i'm recording right now to you live and i can even switch that well 
let me see if I can do this right. <laughs> Let's see. I could even switch you to the screen to show you I'm recording on the same device, which you can see right here. It's the same device. So you can see it's me. So there it is. I mean, same device. You can see that it's working. I'm using OBS Studios. You know, so let's flip it back. I'm going to take and not run the, the audio on this. I'm just going to run it through. Um, we're going to go on benchmarks. We're just going to go to Night Raid. And we're going to run the tests. So this way you all can see. Now you got to give it. Um, I'm running OBS. I'm running these tests all in one. So it's putting stress on the system just to let you know that. So. Oh my goodness. Hold on. It went right back to the other screen. I had to stop the test right there because it went to the other screen. So, hmm, let me figure this one out. Well, why it did that? I have no idea, no clue. Okay, let's go ahead and just pull this right into the framework. Let's see if I can switch it down. There we go. How about that? Let's see if I can switch it down that way and try to run the test again. Let's see if it'll work. Hmm. There we go. Sorry about that. It's just ma basically doing a little bit of a flip around. So. You'll get you'll get some of the recordings in the back. So. We'll just make it a little bit of a part of it. So. The reason why I come to this one is because it stresses out the the APU a little bit more and plus it blends in with the CPU. I don't use the other ones is because it's more CPU based, I think. But this one here is more GPU based. I really think that really, you know, really works. So, Now y'all can't tell me that don't look good, okay? Now, for an APU, I want you to understand this, for an APU, and it's getting these kind of graphics, I think it's, you know, rolling pretty good myself. So, I'm, I'm a discrete graphics card lover like everybody else. Do Don't get that wrong. It's just... I want to show everybody that an APU can be just as good as a discrete graphics card. You know, even though that everybody, you know, doesn't use the the Ryzen 5 5600G, but I'll tell you what, for 100 bucks, 
you get a graphics card and a processor built into one on a good motherboard good ASUS motherboard MSI you know EVGA if they still make them um, Gigabyte you know it depends on what you want I mean for this to even give me 5960 FPS I'm still I'm still happy about that you know I mean proofs in the pudding the CPU is only 119 degrees running at 13 percent the GPU is only 113 running at 98 percent I might not get the best score in the world but I'm not looking for the best score I'm looking for artifacting I'm looking for you know blurriness or you know what whatever but I am streaming to you all this right here and recording at the same you know recording this at the same time um chit chatting with you all so I just want to give you all a good idea that the Ryzen 5 5600G is believe it or not a monster so you know to me it is a monster it's getting good FPS this is what I see when I play Second Life you know as far as gaming you know it does pretty good on gaming so I'm not you know I play Eve and I play you know I got Dota 2 I got you know I play them when I can but mate basically my main gaming my main gaming is Second Life because that that right there is requires a lot on the processor so I mean this right here this test right here is a processor test even though that it's at 12 FPS it's it's still putting hell on the processor you know I don't think it's doing too bad the processor has only gotten up to 147 stable 148 so I mean you can't beat that with the stick no matter which way you look at it because if the processor stand below 165 which I keep this as low as I can so that way you know it makes more sense to keep it you know below 165 in uh, Fahrenheit temperature so we will go ahead and switch it back over now since the test is completed we'll move the OBS off and there we go so there's the there's it right there we'll go ahead and we'll switch everything back up it takes a little bit to switch everything around you know so do bear with me there we go see now now everything goes back to normal yeah so here's the results it's as you can see the graphics is 15,135 we'll go ahead and stretch this out a little bit the CPU score is 11,473 now do remember this is just processor and integrated graphics only now let's roll down here and see what we can see Okay, so this is the detailed monitoring as we can see 4524 on the processor that's the megahertz clock frequency it's a little bit bumpy GPU load stays at 98% CPU temperature and GPU temperature stay pretty stable. 
So pretty much all the way stable. Let's see what it is. All right. So let's get it right where we need it. Okay, so the maximum frame uh, frame rate was 138.25 FPS, and the temperature stayed normal. The GPU load was at 97.87%. Clock frequency for the CPU was 45115.41. The GPU stayed at 2300 megahertz and the, the memory stayed at 1600. Solid. So when the GPU runs on this, the iGPU stays solid at 2300 megahertz. I have it set to extreme in the BIOS and I have the memory set at 1600 in the BIOS but it's actually 3200 megahertz 16 clocks 16 gigs of RAM I share 4 gigs of memory with the RAM and the iGPU 4 gigabytes so instead of me getting 16 gigs minus 4 off of that so I got 12 gigs of RAM just for the CPU which I'm only getting using up to 8 gigs of RAM on the CPU side I'm only using 2 gigs of RAM for well I'm using a total of 4 gigs of RAM for the iGPU but it's only utilizing maybe 2, 2.5 gigs of it so it's not there's a good good hand washing so yes you can use 16 gigs of RAM but you know if you want to use um, 8 gigs of RAM on on your um, for your integrated graphics your iGPU you would want to have at least 32 gigs of CL16 RAM for your computer you know to run your processor and to run your um, iGPU but yes you can run this iGPU up to eight eight gigabytes on that side but do remind you that it's sharing 16 megs of cache from the processor so the cache is being shared from the processor to the iGPU so it's only got 16 but that's not too bad anyway you know I mean unless unless you got um, a discrete graphics card this is what an iGPU I does so just getting to the the basics of it all and as you can see right here it says Ryzen 5 5600G Radeon Graphics right here the time right here 113 2023 1029 the test was ran so it tells you the version and tells you the GPU which is good deal AMD Radeon graphics there there is no no punches to be pulled okay I mean I know I'm below average but these scores always fluctuate so it doesn't to me it's pretty good I know it's the basic edition I know it's not the advanced edition bear with me you know like I said we're still building this channel but for and this is going to draw my conclusion for you so this doesn't become too long winded all 
Alrighty. That went nuts. That's because I still have Steam rolling. Let me go ahead and exit out of Steam. There we go. Okay, now understand this. For me to get that kind of score, I have OBS Studios running. This is one. I have I have Steam running. That's two. I have you know um, MSI Afterburner I'm just using it for you know temperature time and temperatures and for it to post up onto the screen what the FPS and the temperatures and everything are doing I'm just using it for a temperature thing but using that using the ASUS software that's running in the background okay see there's many things that you have to consider many things you have to consider when when you're running these tests okay you know yes i i'm still using you know um i'm still using the antivirus microsoft antivirus software i mean all this is running in the background on top of me doing these tests now if I were to turn all of that off and just well if if I were to have this on a different computer and I was using the camera to the capture shoot what's going on with this computer you know and I turned everything off I disconnected the internet from it it was just basically running soup the nuts it would run a lot faster yes but when you have 10 to 12 different things running in the background let me adjust this camera a little bit when you get 10 to 12 things running in the background okay that you can't turn off and there's a lot of things that run in the background that you can't turn off so to make this run faster and more efficient I would have to bare bone Windows 10 I would have to bare bone it all the way down to just the operating system the internet and the programs I add into Windows so and there would have to be no antivirus software no you know none of the bloatware that would be in there and uh, now Microsoft antivirus software is not too bad I've been running tests with it you know it, it uses up a little percentage but it's it's in the background I mean it's not in the foreground running all the time but it's monitoring in the background so that way it's basically not using up a lot of service but it's using up a little so it's that's not really a concern to me and the same with the ASUS software it's running in the background I'm not seeing it so you know AMD has their software for for their graphics cards running in the background you know you have all that extra software running into the background and then you know I have to use OBS studios to record with you all so that way you all can see what I'm doing right now live on the computer so but we are up to 24 minutes I'm gonna cut it right here because I know it's gonna be about 25 26 minute video but I wanted to show you all what the adrenaline 23.1.1 works on with this IGPU the Ryzen 5 5600G with Radeon graphics it's still Radeon graphics understand this still Radeon graphics even if it you can't overclock with it you can in your bias you can overclock it in your bias that's the good part you can manually control it from your bias that's fine with me I don't mind that because I've already got it overclocked in the bias done one time overclocking done I haven't messed with the bias in 
two, three months. You know, I haven't messed anything with the bias. It's all set. You know, I don't have to go in there adjusting things to see how it works and everything else. It's a one-time deal. One time and go. Everything's been a go with this PC. Just go, go, go. I don't have the headache of iGPUs or not iGPUs, duh. Discrete graphics cards where you got to go in and adjust it every five seconds. No, this one is just set 2300 megahertz on the GPU, 16 on the memory, done. It sets itself right at turboed max, done. And this good. This is for the ones that don't want to mess with anything or anything else. They just want to get get it in there and just roll. That's it. Just get it in and roll. But anyway, that's my conclusion to the Ryzen 5 5600G on the new AMD Adrenaline 23.1.1. And you don't believe it can't work then let's go ahead and show you one more time one more time so that way you can see that I am running on that software so you can see it I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up to you and post it real quick I'm gonna put it on the home and then I'm gonna switch it over to this right here same driver same everything so that way you can see it really quick you know that it is it's running right here and we can check for software updates and it's up to date there's i mean you can't beat it with the stick okay so on that note so you've seen it you know it it's working but anyway, if you like my videos, make sure you subscribe. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you like the videos, put a like on them. It would be much appreciated. It would help us. We're still trying to get to the 1,000 subscribers and the 4,000 watch hours so we can get the channel monetized. It's very important we can get this channel monetized. So this way we can do more. I know y'all want to see builds and everything else. Time is money. And, you know, it costs money to do these things. I don't ask you guys for money. All I ask you guys is to like, subscribe, you know, put some positive likes on there, subscribe, and watch all my videos to get the video time watch hours up so we can get to that 4,000 mark. That's all I ask. You know, I'm not saying, hey, you got to give me money so I can go get a product. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying if you help out the channel and get it monetized and we can get it, this channel rolling, that way we can do more and be able to, with that monetization, we can build from that. And that's the whole idea is building from that is to get the channel monetized. Tell your friends to subscribe. Tell your friends to watch the video. I know some of my videos might be corny to y'all and they might not, if they're not making sense to you, you know, well, you gotta understand, this is my point of view. And this is what I see going on. I'm not looking out for the, you know, I'm not trying to be a top enthusiast or anything else. I'm trying to put this these videos out for the consumer okay for the people that need to see this that an average average old guy can get on here and do all this you sure can too so do remember that you can too okay it's not hard and what makes it hard is when you wrap your mind around what if what if what if just do it don't wrap your mind around what if. Learn what, what the items are and just do it. If you want to build your own system, don't talk about it. Just do it. Okay, I can build my own systems. This PC I'm recording to you on, I built this system. This system I built from scratch. Basically, I went on Amazon, pulled all the parts, boom, boom, boom. All brand new. 
all brand new parts. I pulled it off of Amazon and I'm recording right to you. Off of a $100 camera, a $400 PC, a $100 monitor, and that's it. There's nothing to it. Oh yeah, the, the audio cords and stuff, roughly 50 bucks and all. You know, for the, all the, the USB cords and all the stuff that I need. So, I mean, total, 700 bucks for this whole system. That's not bad. And you could do it too. So, like I said, like and subscribe. But until the next time in the next video, this is JJ, your boy. We will see you on the next one.